Hey there, my name is Will Calabio, also known as It Is Will on social media, and today I'll be taking you through what I pack to go traveling. First up, we have the Canon EOS R50, which is one of Canon's latest cameras, super small but packs a big punch. This is an essential for anyone looking to travel this year and wants to dive into the mirrorless camera game. Some quick specs view, it has a 24.2 megapixel sensor that's capable of shooting 4K 30p uncropped video and also 120p full HD slow motion video. Weighing at 375 grams, this camera's a must for my travels, making it super easy to grab content whenever and wherever I am. Along with this comes the RFS 18 to 45 f 4.5 to 6.3 IS STM. Quite a mouthful, but it weighs absolutely nothing and takes up no space in my backpack. It's a no-brainer to bring this fun little lens along with me when I travel. With the EOS R50's APS-C sensor, this lens serves as an equivalent 28 to 70 that would be on a full-frame camera. This makes it super diverse in its focal lengths and allows me to be prepared for any situation. Next up is the Canon EOS R8, and this is an absolute essential to have in my camera bag. This camera's for those of you that are looking to use your gear a bit more professionally, with its full frame sensor and amazing image quality. Spec wise, it has a 24.2 megapixel sensor that can shoot photos up to 40 frames a second, which is pretty insane, and also non-cropped 4K 60p video. I use this camera for any hero shots that I need, especially for video content because it shines through with its dynamic range. Moving along, we have the Canon RF 15-35 f2.8 LIS US. This lens always seems to be stuck in my camera for very good reasons. Starting at 15mm, this lens is my go-to for architecture, landscapes and vlogging. It provides such a unique wide perspective that I love and the fact that it pushes to 35 with its low aperture means I can use it for portraits and street as well. And lastly in my camera bag is the 70-200 f2.8 LIS USM. This has been such an amazing lens for me and at the other end of the spectrum this telephoto allows you to stamp bangers whenever and wherever you are. Whether it be street photography, landscapes or portraits portraits, this lens's compression and bokeh will get you addicted to using it. Now before we wrap up what's in my camera bag, here are some special mentions. I keep spare camera batteries with me to ensure that I don't miss out on opportunity when I'm out shooting. I use 128GB SD cards and I've found these to be super valuable for their price point. And also of course a dust puffer and a lens cloth to make sure your glass is clean and your shots are crystal clear. Now in all honesty, I'm not an extremist when it comes to cleaning my gear while traveling. However, I do have safe habits that I'd recommend in order to take your gear for the long term. Besides using a dust puffer and a lens cloth, one obvious tip that I do is to never leave your sensor uncovered or facing towards the sun. The sensor is the most important and sensitive part of the camera, so you don't want dust, water, or sun overexposure to damage it. Another thing to be careful of is storage, and the last thing you want to do is lose all your amazing photos from a trip that you've done. I'd recommend transferring your photos and videos from your SD onto a hard drive or an SSD every night and if possible onto two separate devices. This also ties into how I take care of my gear and one essential part of this is the bag that I use which happens to be virtually steel proof and also waterproof. When you're traveling and especially to places that you haven't been to before it's always good to know that your gear is protected and secure on your back. When out I also never leave my gear anywhere lying around it always has to be in eyesight or at arm's length of where I am. And if you're traveling around by plane I always recommend to keep as much of your gear if not all on carry-on luggage. Sometimes if there's no space I'll make sure to store my gear in heavily padded compartments so it's nice and safe in a suitcase for check-in. And there we go that wraps up what I packed for traveling so far. I hope you liked it and maybe discovered a piece of gear that I use that you might want to grab for your travels this year, but nonetheless, enjoy.